The truck I'm driving is a 2017 Ram 2500. Um, I picked the 2500 because it has the linked and coiled rear suspension. I wanted something that was basically a JK, but bigger, you know, opposing track bars, coil springs at all four corners. It'd be comfortable when I was driving it on the road, but I can still load it up with a bunch of stuff. And uh, like everybody else, I have a family. I have a wife, I got three kids. We like to load up all the toys. And let me tell you, there is no shortage of toys when you have kids. For some reason, the littlest thing is the most important. And then 5,000 of those littlest things later, you finally have a 2500 that's loaded to the gills. So I picked this truck because I could fit everything that I would need, still be comfortable, have the family with me, be able to go do whatever I want, be able to tow whatever I want. I have other toys that I enjoy playing with as well. And uh, to be able to hook a trailer to my tow rig and then go wheel some of the hardest trails. Like today, we're out on the Moab Rim Trail with the full-size Invasion, and you know I can haul all the gear that I need. I can be completely comfortable. I can have the radio going. I can have the AC on and handle whatever we want to throw at it. This truck, I wanted to have something that I, I didn't have to worry about. I could just get in it and go do my regular maintenance, and it would just be fine. I didn't want to lift it so high that I would change up the handling characteristics. In fact, I didn't want to do anything to it that wouldn't it at least meet what the factory standards were, if not make them better. So I chose to go with a, a three inch AV dual sport lift. Um, I did that because they made a complete package that matched up to the 40 inch tires I knew I would want to run. Um, from there, I tackled the, the drivetrain. I, I matched up 488 nitro gears with the 40 inch tires to give me a little bit more mechanical advantage, take some of the load off of my transmission and everything else. And, uh, added air lockers front and rear just in case I need a little extra traction. Um, RCVs up front just because if I'm in there might as well make it as bulletproof as possible because chances are if I get that thing stuck or I break something I'm going to be somewhere gnarly that nobody could really get me out of. Um, knowing that I was going to be spending a lot of time camping with the family I wanted to uh, make sure we were all set up. I added a rooftop tent so my, my daughters would be comfortable when we went camping. I got a fridge freezer in the back so we can have nice cool water, not end up with soggy sandwiches because all the ice melted in the cooler and the sandwich bag was open for some weird reason because kids never, never leave anything open. So because this truck does double duty as not only a daily driver but a tow rig, uh, I had to spend some time really figuring out my wheel tire combo. Um, I needed to have a 40 inch tire, but I didn't want to end up going with a 17 because I didn't want too much sidewall deflection. So I ended up going with a, a 20 by 10, four and a half inch backspace KMC whole shot wheel and then wrapping it in a uh, 40, 15, 50 R20 Nitto. That gives me the load rating that I need for that truck so I can tow, do whatever I want and yet still have enough tire sidewall that I can air down and tackle whatever trail I need. And then of course, me being me, I went ahead and tackled the uh, engine compartment. I went ahead and uh, got a hold of my buddy Lenny Reed at uh, Dynamite Diesel Products. Went over to his shop, we pulled that engine out, went through, uh, measured what the compression ratio was on, uh, on every cylinder, and then completely tightened it up. Took the whole thing back apart. ARP main studs in the bottom, balanced rotating assembly. Um, got all the piston protrusion just right so we could have the highest compression ratio we could possibly get. ARP head studs, um, he did up a really nice set of balanced 90 horse injectors. And then we threw a set of compound turbos on it. Last it dynoed, even with 488 gears and 40s, was right around 600 horsepower at the rear wheels. So yeah, it likes to, uh, it likes to party. <laughs> 